Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash, Supergirl, and all the other DC TV shows. We're going to be doing a Q&A video once again. So, again, send in your questions on the community tab, where you guys can leave your theories, questions, topics, or ideas for upcoming videos in the next week or so. So, please be sure to do that. I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions today. Make sure to send in those really great questions because they will get picked if they're really great. That's what I'm looking for. Just interesting topics that potentially I haven't talked about too much that I could get into in some of these videos. So, yeah, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, we've got the shows. They're not coming back for a long time. Recently, I did my last video. You guys check it out. You should check it out right now. Basically, we got told that The Flash might be shooting towards the end of August. Like, that is the tentative, like, pencil down release date as to when they're going to be actually heading back to film. They're probably going to have to quarantine for two weeks or something with the actors coming over from America. Then, you know, they are planning to do this. And then most of the other shows are either going to come back in September and maybe a few in August, like The Flash. But that's all up in the air because we don't know if they'll actually get back on time, like if it's actually possible. So go check out that video before we head into this. So without further ado, the first question comes from Zayn U Abedin Mirza. And this person asks, do you think Barry gets side effects because of the new Speed Force? So I thought this was a good question because, you know, we have been waiting for Barry to get his new Speed Force powers because by the end of the season, he actually was still at the same point where he was like, I don't know, five, six, seven episodes, like when his powers had been draining due to what happened in that big episode where it was revealed that the Speed Force is dying and the Speed Force died. And so Barry's powers were slowly starting to wane and slowly starting to be gone, essentially. And so while he felt this effect, I'm guessing other speedsters in the multiverse felt this effect. And Barry needs to create this new speed force for him and potentially any other future speedsters that are going to be with him. Because the speed force is dead and he's only using the remaining speed with inside of him. And that's all that he's going off of right now. So... Basically, at the end of the season, they were doing some tests. Cisco figured out, you know, maybe we can do some experiments. There were a few failed experiments and basically coming up probably at the start of the season. And what they planned to do by the end of the season was definitely to give Barry back his Speed Force powers to make him become the Flash again. Because the Flash, like, Barry can't not have his speed for a whole season. Like, that would defeat the object of the show because then you wouldn't have the Flash, it would be Barry Allen and friends with no speedster powers, like he could go in a suit but he would only be able to like punch and walk around and jog around, he wouldn't be able to be the Flash so obviously he's going to get his powers back and so this new speed force I think is going to be created in like the first three episodes at least and then once he gets that new speed force or if they fix the old speed force I mean, that is still an option, but I think the biggest one is, you know, they're going to make this artificial speed force they've been talking about, and yeah, the effects, I'm guessing there's going to be some sort of side effects, because essentially what they're trying to do is similar to what Velocity 9 was, and what all the different versions of Velocity were, it obviously affected Godspeed, it affected Zoom, it even killed Trajectory, so, you know, it's not actually Velocity and it's going to be a lot safer, but I'm sure there is going to be side effects similar to how and what happened to people taking Velocity 9. So, I'm saying, yeah, there's going to be side effects to Barry getting this new speed force because it's going to be new, it's going to be different, it's going to be artificial, maybe they learn a bit like how reverse flash created his speed force i'm sure there were some side effects when he created it first but anyway so let's move on to the next question this comes from tyrone flame on youtube who asks who do you think the flash's big bad will be besides cobalt blue and Ragin? so i think this is a very good question lots of you guys have been asking who is going to be the villain for the flash season seven who is the big bad I made videos about Cobalt Blue coming because of the synopsis they released in the next season and it was saying that once they defeat Mirror Master Eva, that is going to cause the creation of a new villain and they specifically said something in the synopsis about 
Barry and Iris's marriage and there will be some sort of strain and it is related somehow to the new villain who would be created. So obviously we all went to Cobalt Blue. I think there is a very high chance that it's going to be Cobalt Blue because obviously this would be Eddie Thorne as far as what we are concerned and what we've been theorizing about over all of these years. Cobalt Blue is normally a Thorn, so Eddie Thorn makes the most sense to bring a version of him back, maybe from the multiverse, or maybe this version survived or he was revived or something like that. And so the marriage thing, it makes sense because Eddie was once a virus, but I guess it doesn't make the most amount of sense because they were only like, you know, dating or something like that. They weren't even anything further than that because Eddie actually died and, you know, Iris kind of just moved on. So, you know, we were thinking Cobalt Blue, but then we were thinking Raging because of how they've left everything. You've got the black hole links, you still got the Godspeed stuff. Someone's creating these Godspeed clones. Godspeed is related to Raging in the comics because Godspeed was brought in around the same time as a black hole. And Raging was revealed in the comics to be the one in control of Black Hole. It wasn't actually, you know, the guy that we had this season who was in charge of Black Hole. It was actually Raging. So it makes sense with all of this still lingering that it would be Raging, this new character. I think it should be him. I think it would be really cool if it was him because he's technically a speedster and Cobalt Blue is technically a speedster or they can be a speedster but Raijin is the god of lightning and he can essentially you know harness all of this energy and so I think Raijin would be a really good pick and you know there's obviously the chance that another big bad of the season could be reverse flash because they did tease that there was going to be a cliffhanger regarding reverse flash at the end of the season but they weren't able to do that so i'm guessing reverse flash is going to have some sort of part to play maybe in the creation of barry getting his new speed force maybe they need his help or he comes in as a main villain for this season or just like he appears a couple of times or something like that because he is still out there I think he still needs a body, and that's where people have been theorizing that he's going to take over Godspeed, one of those, and he is the guy creating um, these Godspeed clones in the future, or wherever these Godspeed clones are coming from. And also, there is the chance that the villain of the season could be just Godspeed. It could be the real August Hart who is creating these clones, who wants to harness all of the Speed Force energy out there in the world, and he is the one, and he is like the true godspeed the real living and breathing godspeed but he's using these different versions of godspeed to actually get that energy and to become the god of speed like the real god of speed so that is a chance and the last theory that people have been talking about is red death so yeah this has been linked to blood work because you know we're probably not going to get like bruce wayne or something on the flash like obviously they had bruce wayne on batwoman but we're not going to get Bruce Wayne on The Flash, so people have been thinking, how can we have Red Death if it's not Bruce Wayne? Oh, it kind of makes sense if it's blood work. And what happens if blood work is taken over by Reverse Flash or something, someone with Speed Force energy, and they create the Red Death? Because people have been waiting for Red Death since, you know, he was first talked about in Season 5. We suspected he would be the Season 6 villain, and now we're just kind of waiting for him to come. So... I think those ones are the most obvious and they're the ones that people have been theorizing about and they make the most sense. Any of them could happen and I would be happy. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from BT Zavnir on YouTube who asks, Do you think that Season 6 of Supergirl will have a crossover with The Flash? So I would love that and I'm sure all of you guys watching this video would love that because, you know, we're big fans of the crossovers, especially Supergirl and The Flash. They are some of the best crossovers ever. And I've been really hoping for this for the last few years, but it's not happened. Obviously, the best thing we got was the big crossovers. I mean, that's plenty enough, but still, the Supergirl and Flash crossovers are always something that are brilliant, and they are much beloved by us, and especially me, because, you know, Duet is my favorite episode ever in DC TV, and World's Finest in Supergirl Season 1 was just such a surprise and it's such a good crossover so in season six of supergirl is still a chance that they can cross over but i would say it's kind of unlikely that the two shows will specifically cross over due to the filming schedules and supergirl starting later in november because of melissa's maternity leave and then 
The Flash would have filmed a lot of their episodes by the time of then. So I don't know if they make it work so that like near the end of The Flash and then new season like they cross over or something like that. I'm guessing it's probably going to be more like there is going to be two shows. They said Batwoman and Superman and Lois are crossing over and you have like The Flash and Supergirl popping up in that crossover. I'm guessing that's more likely as we're right now than specifically The Flash and Supergirl crossing over because I think there is going to be some issues with scheduling this season due to how everything's going down regarding filming. So that is my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.